Yeah. All right. Well, Danielle, uh, a lot of people going to be hitting the lake today. Going to be a little choppy out there if you're hitting the water. Yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest lake day. I mean, uh, unless you're wind doing something surfing. that involves yeah. wind. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking of, uh, parasailing or windsurfing or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Hmm. If you're doing that, yeah, probably a good day for the lake. Otherwise, just very hot, windy. We're looking at winds even this morning, gusting as high as 30 miles per hour in the city. You're taking a live look right now and just a few clouds out there. Not bad of a morning except for the wind, 79 degrees. Winds out of the south as high as 20, gusting to 30. Our sunrise at 7.03. It's currently 5.15, heading into 5.16. Current winds in Ponca City at 18, Clinton at 18. The higher gusts have been here with us, though, as I said, gusts to 30 in the city. Meanwhile, gusts to 25 in Stillwater, 24. Had wind gusts up there in Ponca City here early this morning. Temperatures up there, 70 degrees. Alva, 77. Woodward, 77. 79 in Oklahoma City. 79 in Midwest City. Double sevens for Shawnee and Norman. Good morning to you. Very close to 80 degrees. Let's check out the radar for you. We do have some showers and some thunderstorms that have been happening in north and eastern Oklahoma. And it looks like a lot of the lightning has calmed down. We're still seeing some moderate to heavy rain around Hominy. This is Osage County. This is moving to the east. So this will not be impacting us here in the Oklahoma City metro as that is moving away. However, we will have sunshine through a good part of the day and then a chance for some storms coming in. Late this afternoon and this evening, we're talking 6, 7 p.m. and beyond. 99 degrees, so much of your day is going to be nice, although it will be very hot and windy. Winds gusting to 30 miles per hour. So anything you're doing outdoors, just got to take those heat precautions. Your average high is 90. We go up to 99, and many spots in pink are going to get very close to 100 today. Hobart about 100. Meanwhile, Alva and Woodward, we're only at 93. Only, yes, 93 sounds good compared to where the rest of us are going to stand. And a chance for some storms. As I said, let me show you predictor. So much of your day, sunny, a little more cloud cover though to start the northeastern part of the state. 7 p.m., we start watching this cold front really seep into west central Oklahoma. So there is a possibility that we'll have some thunderstorms developing around this time, especially up in north and eastern parts of the state. Here is 9 o'clock. It's still trying to break out some storms. We get into the overnight hours and we continue the chance for storms, especially to the north and east. And some of those storms may be strong and severe. Some locally heavy rainfall, some clouds of ground lightning here in Oklahoma City, where we have the higher risk for severe weather is going to be up here in north and eastern Oklahoma. It's a slight risk. been a while since we've had this, but it is this evening, and we will be watching it. Some strong winds, some large hail. It cannot rule out an isolated tornado. We'll have our chasers on that later on today. Highs tomorrow, it does cool down just a little bit with that front, 95, but the front really just kind of stalls and then lifts back to the north, so we're still looking at the heat for south and western Oklahoma. Unfortunately, no heat relief for you in Hobart at 97. South winds at 10 to 15. We do get a cool down though. We look forward to some storms and some 80s for next weekend. Dan, Ariel. All right, yeah.